Hi, this is Don from Air Guns of Arizona. Today we're going to do a general unboxing of the FX Impact. Really new air gun at the market. It's a wonderful gun, and we're just going to go through some basic unboxing and how to install the barrel, install the probe, disassemble the rifle, and what to look for. We have the FX Impact. You are going to have a variety of barrels, anything from 22 to 30 caliber, in your air cylinder. If you'll notice, the FX Impact, because the barrels are interchangeable, there's a couple different things on them that are unique. One is where the screw that secures it into the receiver goes here. There's an index next to the transfer port. This is the screw that secures it into the receiver. It might behoove you to put a little light grease on these O-rings because sometimes when they're new, it, uh, it makes it just slide through the receiver easier. So as you slide it into the receiver, if you have the silver countersunk hole facing you, it should slide right in. And you'll feel it, if you give it a little light twist, you'll feel it time and seat. Now the back of the brass fitting should be flush with the inside of the back of the receiver. When it is, slowly tighten up the screw and snug it. That's all it should take to retain the barrel in the receiver. Your shroud, when you go to fire it, just go ahead and extend it. As I stated earlier, the rifle comes with multiple calibers from 177, 22, 25, and 30. You buy whatever barrel you like with your gun. Uh, you will have a probe specific to each caliber and we will install the probe next. You'll need a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Ideally what you want to do is you want to cock the gun and you will see the block that actually holds the probe. There's a small 1.5 millimeter Allen screw that's in the block. You'll back that out. Lower the butt plate. Take a four millimeter Allen screw. There's a hex in the back of the probe. Insert that in the back of the probe. That'll help you hold it and orient it so that you can insert it into the block. There's a set screw hole where the set screw is in the side of the block and then your transfer port will be directly on the bottom facing you. So the best thing to do is gently slide it in there. Look, you'll feel the whole line and tighten up the screw. The screw is snug. It doesn't have to be really tight, but you want to make sure that it's down below flush so that the probe obviously will work back and forth in the receiver. It's as simple as that. The next thing we'll do is we'll install the air cylinder. The working pressure on the FX Impact is 250 bar. It comes with a coupling to put on your air hose. We're filling it off of one of our Omega 85 tanks. We filled it up to 250. Blood the air pressure and release the coupling. You'll receive your, your cylinder with air in it. When you remove the air cylinder, You will hear air escape. There will be a small amount of air escape. You'll remove the cylinder. Depending on the individual gun, you could have pressure still in your regulator, which is on the back side here. That may escape in two minutes, five minutes, or ten minutes. Or you could fire the gun and it will bleed off the excess air that's in from the, on the back side of the regulator. So that's common. It could leak down when the pressure bleeds off after you take the cylinder off or it may hold it in there for a while. 
again, reassign, uh, reassembling the gun, simple as screwing on the cylinder. This is your main manometer. This is one that shows your regulated pressure on the backside. This is the FX Impact fully assembled. I'd like to talk about a few of the other features that are available on this gun. You have a fine tuning adjustment right here. And what that does is the guns are set from the factory, uh, the regulator set at 140 bar and they set them with a digital manometer. So duplicating the, the uh, the pressure on your own is going to be very difficult. It can be adjusted externally. I don't recommend it. I haven't done it on my gun personally. There is also a hammer adjustment. And that what this does is when you tighten this up and you do not want to tighten or adjust this when it's cocked. So if you have cocked it, you can hold it back, the cocking arm and squeeze the trigger and slowly release it if you want to do it that way now it will not fire so this is going to turn freely if it's cocked it is going to turn tight and you could get into galling issues so just release the, the hammer the cocking arm and you can adjust it whatever power setting you want what this does is this tightens up the hammer spring or loosens the hammer spring so it either gives you more power on the hammer spring or less power this adjustment is for fine tuning. Uh, if you're shooting over a chronograph, you'll find that with various pellets, which gives you the most velocity or you're tuning it to a specific velocity, generally you'll find when you unscrew it, you're taking a little pressure off the spring, it's gonna actually get you increase the velocity, whereas if you screw it in, generally gonna lose a little velocity. Well, thanks for joining us on the unboxing of the FX Impact. If you enjoyed the video, that's great. If not, there's plenty of other ones you can watch that are available with the Arrogans of Arizona.